we are back out here it's the next week and it rained a little bit over the weekend so taking a look at this thing now i was out here during the rain and this is already working to move the water out of here so what we're going to end up doing with the way things are this is pretty dry up here so we're going to pour this section up here up to this line right here the guys are getting some plastic up to protect the brick from the concrete and then we're going to pour the next section i think tomorrow after that dries out a little bit but things are going pretty good so far okay the concrete's finally here Got a couple of spotters on that thing. We're trying to get it kind of like diagonal. And then the chutes will hopefully reach over here.
the guys have got this looking really good so we're letting it set up a little bit and then they're going to tool in some joints but i'm not going to stick around for that so we'll be over here tomorrow we'll get started on our finish grading and then get the rest of this poured tomorrow so i'll check back in with you then We are back out here, it's the next day, and take a look. The concrete guys beat me out here, and by the time I got here, they'd already pulled all the tape off of here, and pulled the forms, and pulled the plastic, so it's looking really, really good. Now take a look at this. Look at that. So we were pretty much ending up with like a sea of concrete, which may not be the most aesthetically pleasing, but it is going to be by far the best solution because it provides a waterproof barrier for water getting down and it also is a collection device. So this is like a drastic, a very, very drastic solution here and we had to have 100% results. So that was the only option over here. So. You may not really like this whole sea of concrete look to it, but as far as it working and saving the foundation, it's going to work. We spend a lot of time really compacting this finish grading right up against the concrete and that's really really important to get the water to go from the grass and soil onto the concrete so the finish grade of our finish grading there has to be higher than the concrete and we can't use the harley rake we can't do anything to fluff up or make the dirt loose we've got to really pack it down otherwise the water will just wash all that loose dirt right into the channel drain so it's got to be really really well compacted at this point so we spend a bunch of time on our finish grading here the concrete truck just arrived so it's on uh -huh. That's it, he said. That's it. That's it. Okay, right here. Right, mijo. I'm going to go this, right? Yep. Right here, flat. And right there, still going that way? Yep. Still. Yep. Like that? Yep. 
I want the water to flow out so of I'm here. A, I'm gonna take a little board, both sides. Yep. How you do, baby? Happy birthday. Yeah. Money, money. Money, money. We're putting these bollards back in, so we didn't want people to be driving up in here, and that's what they're gonna do if we don't. That's why these were here in the first place. The concrete on this side is on the ground. And the concrete truck's gonna try to make his way all the way around and pull in like he was yesterday up over here so we can finish that off. I think those are common grackles. They're not happy with each other, that's for sure.
truck is on the ground and look what happened. We've got this little bit here left. So we've got another one and a quarter yards on the way. Now we're waiting again. All right, the third concrete truck is here. We just got a little bit, but it's enough. So that little bit right there, we're just trying to get it done. What a pain. We got that little tiny bit right there finished off and the concrete truck driver is heading back to the plant. We are back out here and everything is, all the concrete's in. We're just getting the rest of our finish grading done. We gotta pull these forms. So we left a pile of dirt here for our finish grading. We got the tape to pull off and some more trash to clean up. Now this is what it looks like. So it's holding a little bit of water. So the concrete guys are gonna come over here and see if they can just take this little section out right here. I had to leave early when they were doing this, so I didn't get, get a chance to show them what I wanted. But it's already working, so I'm pretty excited about it. What? It tells the story of the day. All right, Crystal and Jeremy have been working really hard on this finish grading. So I just got everything tracked over really well, compacted. So in order for this channel drain to work, the water coming off the hill here has got to flow off the hill and onto the concrete. So getting this edge right here compacted really, really well is critically important. So we spend a bunch of time on our finish grading because that's what's gonna help this thing work correctly. So I just track back over it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and get it really, really well compacted. Okay, we're still cleaning up back over here, and I had a bucket of paint, so I'm gonna, or Jeremy's gonna paint these bollards, just this is kind of an add-on, just because we had the paint.
We are just about finished. Jeremy's getting things leaf blown. And we got a little pile of trash right here you have to clean up. This is not necessarily our trash, but it was all the crap that was up against the building. So we're just gonna get rid of it to make the job look nice and clean. Right there. Nice work. Oh. Hang on. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And we are finished with this job. So we got this building protected. We talked about this already. A sea of concrete does not necessarily look the best, but it's going to work the best. So all the water that comes from a bunch of different buildings up here, and I think there's two more up here too, and they all come to that low point right there, and then just down. So we should have this in really, really good shape. The other thing is when this channel drain clogs up due to lack of maintenance, it, the concrete itself is going to channel the water. So we worked really hard to get the concrete going too because in, a, in an area like this where maintenance may not be quite as good as it normally should be, we wanna make sure it's gonna work even despite maintenance issues. And you see this right here, this is willow oak. That's Quercus fellows. So those little tiny leaves get everywhere. So I can't wait to get back out here in the rain and see how we did. All right, it's been a couple days. I wanted to come out here and check on this in the rain. So this thing is really, really flowing. Look at this. And we're already clogged up. So I'm definitely gonna need to pop this top off of here. Oh, look at that. A little snake in there. All right, let me, uh, let me grab a screwdriver. So here's what's going on. I designed this to continue flowing even if it gets backed up because I was really really worried about maintenance over here being able to keep that that open and boy I would love to take that grate off of there and keep it off of there but there's a bunch of cats and stuff that run around here and I just don't know what do you all think
if leaving this thing open like this is the best idea. There's a bunch of cats that live around here, but that's going to flow 10 times, a million times better. So I'm going to have to talk to the property owner about that. That's why I usually leave my outfalls open. So this is all working really, really well, like it's supposed to. And so, again, we talked about this, a sea of concrete. When this gutter, which is flowing really well right now, see all these willow oak leaves? See these willow oak leaves? When that gutter clogs up, it's gonna fall over it and it's gonna hit the concrete and still go in the channel drain. So this one I feel really, really good about. <clears throat> Need to figure out what I wanna do with this. This thing is just flowing so well. I really, really want to leave that grate off there. Man. I just don't want anything to crawl up in there. Logged up so easily. That might be the best of both worlds right there. So only time will tell, but like I said, that thing will still flow and shed that water out of here even if it, the whole drain system is clogged and not working. All right. I'm back out here today, checking on this building. So the concrete guys are on the way, they're gonna fix this problem here. That's holding water really badly. I don't know why they did that. So I'm just going to have to start staying for the whole job in the future here. Because that kind of thing, it's just, it's so avoidable. It can't happen. But anyway, I want to walk around the building and check out the courtyard and see what happened. Oh, look at this dry line right here. Look at that. We've talked about that many times. That dry line, you can't fake it. So you know it's working. So I want to see if there's any water coming out of that hole. And it doesn't look like it. So that's really good news. Remember there would be water pouring out of that right there. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. It, it just poured for like the last three days. Oh man, that is great news. Look at that. All right, time to text the property owner. I haven't even met him, so yeah. We had about the last three days of nonstop rain and you can see that's just barely dripping. See that? Now that's a sign in my experience that the gutters are clogged. So let's take a look. So we've talked about this before being just a sea of concrete. And so one of the reasons we went with all concrete here is because when these gutters clog up and they overflow, the concrete is still gonna be a barrier to water going into the foundation. And so I think the water was going in right there where that gutter was discharging. But 
again, this is not the most attractive solution, a sea of concrete like this, but it is extremely effective. And not only that, but it's very forgiving to poor maintenance. And so we talked about, and I showed you in the last rainstorm, when this thing clogs up due to, due to no maintenance, this concrete's still gonna sh shut all this water out of here. And so I just went inside and everything's looking really, really good. The only thing, I think we washed a bunch of our grass seed out of here with that. We had like three days of rain. I don't see any grass seed in there. So I may have to come back over here and reseed this whole thing. But yeah, things are looking really, really good. I sent the property owner a few pictures and text messages, so I can't wait to talk to him. So, what do y'all think? A sea of concrete, is it worth it? Or does it look like crap? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right. They just ground this out a little bit. It looks like crab, but it's not holding water anymore. So I'm going to start staying with these guys until the absolute end of the job. I left about 30 minutes before they finished. So I just talked to the property owner and he's super, super excited about this. I'm excited. No more water in this unit right here. So I think we've got it. I'm back out here. It's been about eight months since we did the courtyard area and I wanted to check on this. So this looks like it's running pretty good still. So I did come back and cut these last little grates out. It was holding a little bit of debris in there. And so this has been doing just fine with no problems in it. And let's see how the rest of this thing is doing. It's been about, I guess about five months since we did this portion. Look at all that water flowing across there. Hopefully you can see that in the video. So this one too, I took the last couple of uh, pieces of this grate out of here, hoping it would shed water a little bit better. Looks like it's kind of loose there. But it seems to be doing pretty well. And the concrete is actually flowing too. So that looks pretty good. Looks like we got a crack right along the, the pipe where there was that concrete's really, really thin right there. But this is working okay. And this one's working pretty well too. And so I had a few commenters asking why I didn't pipe these directly into the channel drain or into a pipe. And I'll talk about that coming up. But looks like we got quite a bit of flow going on here. And you can see some of the water coming off this bank right here. It just stopped raining too, of course. Uh, hopefully you can see that water flowing off the bank. Now when we have a really heavy downpour, that's quite a flow through there. And this one's doing well. Let's take a look at the courtyard here. So this is looking pretty good. They never cleaned all this dirt off that accumulated right there. But this is doing what it's supposed to, keeping the debris out for the most part. And we don't have any more flooding. It looks like they've got this unit re-rented. I'll text the, the property owner and see if I can get an update, but we got a window unit in here. Look at that. So it looks like nothing's coming through there anymore. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. This was definitely an interesting and challenging project. And so when we fixed the courtyard area, we realized that the backside of the, the building was also causing some issues. Not only issues with standing water 
at those sliding glass doors, but also water going under the foundation. And so doing all that concrete was kind of a drastic solution, but like I mentioned a few times, it was a 100% effective solution. And so a lot of viewers were asking me why I didn't pipe those gutters directly out to the end. And the reason is because of the debris and the low amount of fall we had. So imagine those gutters are piped and all the debris that you saw in there is getting into the pipes and nobody sees it. So I didn't like the idea of doing that. Instead, I like the idea of the gutters dumping right onto the concrete and that way any debris that's in there you can you can clean it out if the gutters stop flowing you can easily identify it and hopefully keep things a little bit more clean we also designed that concrete to channel the water away when the whole thing clogs up and you just saw that when i went out there for the first time when it, when it was raining and so even if the entire drainage system clogs up the concrete itself is still carrying that water away so the other issue with this project is we had to have 100% results. And imagine if you go through and you renovate that unit and it floods even once, then all that money is wasted. And so this was definitely a challenging drainage solution, but one that we achieved 100% results on, which was really, really good. The one thing that I spent a lot of time with the property owner and the property manager was that catch basin at the courtyard. If that thing clogs up, the water is going to flood in there again. And so I talked to the residents over there. I talked to the property manager, talked to the property owners and just said, you, you've got to keep this, this catch basin clear. And so of, of all the maintenance items in the whole complex, that's one of the most important ones because if that catch basin clogs up, then the water is going to flood again. And so they're keeping a really good eye on that. And the residents also know to keep an eye on it. So hopefully that being such a sensitive thing, Hopefully everybody will keep up with it and there won't be any more problems. But just a very bizarre way to design a building and, and the layout of it and everything with the lay of the land. So this has definitely been a long process, not only finishing the project, but also finishing the video series. And so if you all have watched up until this point, I hope you've enjoyed this series, even though it took a lot of work on my part to get it, to get it published for you all. So with that, thanks for watching. <laughs>